गुड आफ्टरनून टू वन एंड ऑल माई सेल्फ सूरज एंड दे आर माई टीम मेट्स अक्षय एंड सुमेधा सो टूडे विल वी आर हियर टू प्रेजेंट अवर प्रोजेक्ट इवेंट लॉगिंग एंड कॉन्टेंट वर्जनिंग सिस्टम टू बिगिन विद आई विल स्टार्ट विद अ फ्यू लाइन्स ऑफ मोटिवेशन सो यू माइट बी इंट्रीक अबाउट हाउ गूगल एमेजॉन एंड यूट्यूब नो एक्जैक्टली वॉट वीडियोज प्रोडक्ट्स एंड आर्टिकल्स यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन सो डू दे हैव साइकिक एबिलिटीज अपरेंटली नॉट दे डू कीप एन आई ऑन योर ऑनलाइन एक्टिविटीज एंड which in which indeed is event logging so another thing that we can uh, answer right now is uh, how do these companies develop such flawless products do they do that in one go don't they goof up in making such big products of course they do but they have a saved working prototype of their previous versions where content versioning comes into the picture so what qualifies as an event an event can be anything which does a substantial addition to your event log database where you can analyze and have some analytical questions of yours answered what is content versioning so best example of content versioning can be git you can also think of content versioning as just as a game which has 100 levels that's your checkpoint so that is a content version of your previous success to begin with our architecture basically drupal has the core drupal module users administrators which and the complete code is written and runs on php which is connected to a web server has a database and we have added the event log and real time logs as a backup next will be continued by akshay i'll give a brief description of what our project is all about and what we have tried to implement why drupal 7 so drupal 7 is most widely used version no, of drupal why not drupal 8 so drupal so 7 has a wide documentation drupal which is dead. why not drupal 8 so answer the question why not so drupal 7 is most widely used so why not drupal 8 see there is a marginal uh, architectural difference between 6 to 7 and 7 to 8 so what you yes huge difference so if you do something on 7 it is not going to be used by 8 and you know the future is 8 so why 7 actually the other matter let's sure. do what you have done drupal 7 is wrong definitely wrong so actually a uh, we are the main purpose i'll explain it. we have tried to enhance the functionality of the existing event log module in drupal 7 the present module has several backlogs we can say presently it does not support the basic features and which are very much necessary we have implemented some of the features like uh, clearing the logs uh, getting a backup of the uh, entire event log database and uh, at the same time we are logging the logs on a uh, on the cloud also we will give a detailed description in the further slides okay so you are protecting the logs so there is a logging system yeah. Yeah. which is unprotected so you are protecting it we are basically storing them protecting we'll give it logging system stores it anyway so we are actually creating a kind of backup for them correct so you are protecting it yeah kind of huh. secondly does drupal 8 protect its log system drupal 8 does not have a system as of now which which we have developed come on yaar i can't believe such statements if drupal 8 is the future they don't have a logging system then it is not not of any no, use no not the logging the backup system that we have made correct so drupal 7 does not have drupal 8 does not have you are saying So actually we don't know about Drupal 8. We have worked with Drupal 7, so we are quite clear about Drupal 7. Does not have you yeah. have added the backup system. Yes, sir. Okay. Secondly, we have tried to facilitate. The logs are captured in a file. Sir, presently they are in a table, a MySQL database there. So we are trying okay, to. Okay, fine. So what are you doing with that when you back it up? Sir, we have provided multiple functionalities. Uh, f- we are also storing them. So go 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 f- and tell me the functionalities. Yeah. Sir, so now I am interested very much. Sir, so according to me. The world has lots of databases. Yes, sir. Okay. Nobody writes backups for them. The databases themselves have got something called a checkpoint, which is a backup. Okay. And there are n number of systems which can backup a data and say checkpoint होता है ना? Checkpoint करके store करता है. Every day, every month, store it. Banks are using that. Banks are log- logging system. They don't have that. Database gets backed up. So I don't know why. What you are doing? Anyway, go. purpose of this thing go ahead go ahead we have implemented the use of cron also so sir actually uh, it is not in the functionality existing functionality we have added some of the features because it is not a functionality we have added adding a cron job is a job of an administrator it is not given anywhere as functionality so no no the way that we are taking backup are real time logs and there is a purpose why we are doing that ah, correct so tell me the purpose of real time log of a logging system yeah. basically while we are taking backup in the local system by just the click of a button in a file okay what is special about this file it is it has a standard backup practices 
So what you can do to get this back to structured form is you can just write a script which will delimitate the existing log by white spaces and you can get it back to your structured SQL database. The other thing that we are doing is storing all the backups on the cloud instantaneously. See, I have got uh, two issues now. First is that whenever you talk about backup, backup is normally is not a only copy. It is a compressed different format which is being time marked so that it can we can recover it based on the time, right? You are saying that you are taking a backup in databases. That that actually, ha, huh, it it actually doesn't call as backup. It is just a copying the database. You are taking a backup of database either. You are saying real time. I don't know. This slide doesn't say, but real time. When we are real time, you did, did not have to take a backup. Backup is something which is taken post. Yeah. Real time when you take, we didn't call it as a backup. It is best practice then save it at simultaneously two different servers. Just save here also and save there also. So it, is, it doesn't call as a backup. Then it is called as a saving at the multiple uh, locations. And this also is a standard practice in the banking server, share and other, uh, they, uh, they sh save it to the different continents for the security purpose. So I didn't understand ki what exactly your motive is. If you clear your aims and objectives initially, it will be better for us to analyze your work. So I think let's go to the second one. Okay. You said crowdsourcing. So, so you say mentioned Kola. something else. Yes, sir. What was that? Ah. Sir, we are providing collaborative community. We are providing an interface for the collaborating communities. Collaborating communities is another project of FRG. We are providing them the necessary information that they require for the development of the recommendation system. Basically, collaborating communities is a project under project, FRC. Separate project. I'm yes, not sir. interested in that. They re come sir, they require some sort of tags and articles or top 10 articles, rated articles. So we, we are basically implementing two types of features under this. It has been, it has received excellent response and even Pankaj sir has uh, expressed his desire to include it in his Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel portal website under NVLI. Under this project uh, feature, firstly we are showing the top 10 viewed articles just on the click of a button. Is the Drupal based system and are they using Drupal 7 or 8? Sir, they are presently using uh, Drupal 8 but he has expressed his desire. But actually live server of NBLI so collaborating communities <laughs> project is also in Drupal 7 actually. Yeah, probably 8, pro you should have used 8. Okay, so that's a mistake. Second thing, I'll just give an overview of, uh, so you have a Drupal system here and yes. then uh, what he what you want is to log in every activity of the user yes sir right that is what is your aim you are logging every activity of the user yes sir. now uh, when you are uh, having I mean when you are trying to give that module to collaborative community uh, project so their project needs that event logging mechanism if that is the over kind of work. Second thing, they, they had a problem. Actually, what they did, they put up everything in the database. So the database came as a free lunch, right? I mean, along with the module, the module which they picked up, you know, the, uh, the, the database, uh, it was uh, required for the module to log in the database. Yes, sir. Then um, I think it happened quite late that uh, when we interacted, I said that uh, this is not a good solution. So the good solution would be like push all the logs to some file distributed storage kind of. So we have put so it in, in the future. Yeah, so, that, so that is the work in progress and uh, they have not been able to do it. So I will give you a very good example of the every activity login that is media wiki. If you go to the Wikipedia or somebody, yes. if you put a, any activity you are doing, it is being logged. You have got a version control also. You can go and check the differences between those versions also. So Media Wiki is, uh, has excellently executed the version control and logging system, which is a transparent and the stability of the Media Wiki you know very well. Worldwide people are using yes. Wikipedia, but still never crashes. So anyway, that is a very good architecture they have come up in Media Wiki. Uh, I think that similar kind of ar architecture may have, uh, some module uh, may have been available in Drupal. You people may have been checked. So we uh, we actually firstly have to uh, identify the right module for making the changes. There are a number of uh, modules available. So, so here, show the top ten and show the top ten new articles. Sir, actually, are these are available. No, no, these are, no, these no, are standard modules available. Actually, crowdsourcing in number of modules are available. If you search, no, I don't know. I can't see. You. Sir, top ten new articles is not available. Actually, we have developed top it. N, top ten will be available. So we can make it for N. We uh, we have provided. Uh, no, but it will be available. It can't be new. 
So I understand. They they have created two features. Right. So this is to be incorporated yeah. with the event. So visualizations are also doing. I have seen so many forums thing. like Fud Forum and other thing which gives the built-in feature, top 10 viewed, latest uh, visitor, <laughs> many things. So this is very common feature. I am surprised you are claiming that Drupal doesn't have this. I, I don't know actually. I am not claiming. Them, but they are in splits of different models. So we are also providing APIs for them so that they can fetch the data in the desired format that they want. So these are the top 10 viewed articles by a particular user. Left side shows the another uh, the name of the article while the right side shows the tags kind of corresponding to that article. So now the log data visualizations. So this is the visualization. Uh, this visualization basically See, shows. Th these graphs are being plotted by you or Drupal? So we have used D3JS. Pardon? D3JS. It's a JavaScript oh, yeah, library. D3JS library you have used. Yes, sir. Okay. So you have passed the data to the array to yes, the sir. library and it is visualizing. Yes, okay. So this visualization basically shows the triggering of each operation for a particular month. So this is basically a force directed graph. Now Suraj will explain. Yeah, so what this graph basically does is, uh, so you have to give a, your start URL of your website and then it will scrape all the web pages that are corresponding to the source code of that URL. Is it ready made JS you have used? No, no, no. So JS is used for this visualization. This okay. is a force directed graph. Okay. So the, the data is uh, captured using the process that I'm telling you. So you get all the crawled pages and once you have crawled all the pages, we are using page ranking algorithm to rank these pages. So these no, these small circles are actually pages, and the circle with the most diameter has the mo has the most page rank, the largest page rank. So we'll be showing that in the demo. You have developed any algorithm or something, or ready-made libraries you have used? Page ranking we have uh, actually implemented. Yeah. Not implemented, we have taken. My question is very specific. There are so many libraries available, functionalities available. You have to pass on your links, and then it will get uh, the data and visualize. Directed from, you can give any URL. No? Yeah, yeah, any URL. So this is actually, we chose CodeChef.com because CodeChef is built on Drupal. Have you done it with IIT Bombay? Yes, yeah, yeah, we can we do have it on any it. website. It's any okay. Web. How many, how many the nodes it has? Currently it has 10 because... IIT Bombay has how many nodes? Sir, we haven't... Carried. Every node is actually a page, but if you take all the pages, what happens is, once the page rank algorithm runs, the lower pages ha almost have equal page rank. So there is no point in visualizing those pages, which are the same so page rank. This actually. So what I am saying that it is better to show your contribution rather than showing okay. the other API you have used and pass on because these are very standard. So many tools available. You get the entire tree also, all wings also because these are the APIs written by somebody else and you are just passing the URL and getting the, the output and then showing it, visualizing it. I, we will be more interested if you tell us what you have created. Your own creation, so actually rather than the application. Actually, we uh, have to make it compatible with Drupal also. So it has various issues. Yeah, incorporating everything in the module was a challenge. So we have taken bits of pieces that will be useful. So what this will be useful useful okay. for is, for okay. example. Okay, well, let's come back to it. Whatever great things you have done with Drupal, <laughs> have you published it to a Drupal company? Sir, sir, we have contacted Brandon Allen of Drupal Association, and we, we have uh, about how to contribute. He has sent us a mail back and we are going through it. Actually, we just sent the mail last week. So we are get, uh, finding out the process how to make the contribution. We have contacted yeah. him. The contribution is in progress and the main, this can be useful for generating revenue. Why? Because you can post advertisements on the page which has the most hits and that page is the one with the most diameter. That's it. We'll show you that in the demonstration, this, this complete graph. Okay, next. Yeah, so uh, the challenges that we faced include, so we had to identify a module which we had to contribute to. We uh, had many options like syslog, watchdog, event log, but we found event log the most suitable because it had four basic operations, which include uh, user and node CRUD operations and taxonomy operations. And the main challenge was writing these modules and making them co compatible and getting in synchronization with the existing event log module. So that was the second one. And the other thing that was an issue in the event log module is the permissions. Every directory had different permissions. So when we had to take a backup or when we had to store this live data, uh, we could not do it. And there was a, there is a file known as default all files where we have public permissions. There is a one very good software available, log for PHP. There are log for series available. Log for J is also available for Java. Log for PHP for PHP. If you, if you study log for PHP, this work has been done very easily for them. You have to just take it put it on any software, even your own developed software also. And it creates all the kind of graphs and events and everything captures everything. 
what kind of browser people have used, what kind of OS they have, what kind of um, click they have, every single click. And you decide what exactly you have to customize to produce the report or to store into the database and whatever. But anyway, good work. I think that you should uh, conclude and uh, next people should come. Next I group.